Welcome to Louisiana Outdoor Experience. Hear that sizzle. Well, it doesn't taste like my grandma. Nutria, the healthiest meat you can eat. We are cooking that Nutria that Winnie wants to get her nose on so much, but that we killed in the last Invasive Assassin video. You know, this could be a Ratatouille situation. You, anytime we used to have small game, is was always in a red sauce over spaghetti noodles. That's what I'm going to do today, I think. Um, so, the only few things different that I'm going to do than traditionally we would have, instead of having spaghetti, I have spaghetti squash. Nutrition facts, though, about Nutri, if you were wondering. They have the most protein at 21 grams per serving. The least amount of fat at 1.5 grams per serving. And the lowest cholesterol at 40.1. So if you have high cholesterol or trying to lose weight, Nutri is actually a pretty healthy meat to eat. That's actually, that's actually a good catchphrase for it. Nutria, the healthiest meat you can eat. Alright, so we know what the protein is going to be in this. We know what we're using as a substitute, but I'm going to make a pretty traditional uh, tomato salt or pasta recipe. Um, I'm going to do, these are two 29 ounce cans of tomato sauce, two 12 ounce cans of tomato paste, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. So that'll be my thing. I also have some Italian seasoning we're gonna put in there. And I have some garlic, cuz. And I forgot to mention my onion. So I'm gonna season the top of this one real well. Wild well, game, fun times you find the hair. I'm going to do just salt and pepper on it. And then, and then I'm going to take it, take my next piece of meat, I'm going to rinse off, dry it, and then dry it with a paper towel just so. We get as much of that extra moisture off. Just throw it on there. So now it's picking up the season from the top and the bottom piece. Let me do that a few more times so I can cover this whole bottom here. Drying it with a paper towel. And what drying it with the paper towel does is I'll get most of the, so you don't have a lot of water in the bottom of here. We're gonna preheat our oven. Bake 350 start preheat. I'm going to show you how to prepare the spaghetti squash. All right, so I kind of lied. Um, I actually changed it to 450, not 350. But this is a spaghetti squash. Let me show you how to get this thing prepared. Get about the halfway point. Cut it in half. Not directly in half, I realize, because I'm terrible at some things. Um, but, I'm going to get it. So, you have two halves of your spaghetti squash now. You're going to take a spoon, and as you can see the seeds here, we're going to scoop these seeds out. Actually do it a lazy way. And simply just poke some holes all around it with a fork and throw it in the microwave for, I don't know, you know my wife normally does that, a few minutes at a time until it gets soft and you'll know it's done then. But, so now, our oh, spaghetti squash bag is in the way. So now you want to flip them upside down, just like so. And let's go grab a fork. So now that I have a fork, you just kind of want to, just enough to break the rind. I think it's to let steam escape. I'm not a... Ooh, that was 
way too much. So now that you have all your little holes poked in here, we're going to flip them back over. Grab our salt, pepper, and olive oil. Might be too much olive oil. I don't know what the purpose of it is, but I'm going to rub it all over it. I'm going to slather it all up with olive oil. Um, my hands are clean, in case you're wondering. Just in case I feed this to anybody and you're like, Frank, what the hell? You done put your hands all over that spaghetti squash. So then you take your salt, which I like using sea salt. Put some salt all over it. Put salt and pepper on it. Place it upside down on your baking tray. I'm using a Teflon tray because why not? Um, that's what I have. We're going to throw it in the oven for an hour and then check to see if they're soft. If they're... Say goodbye for an hour on the top. A little bit of olive oil in it. Kind of just coat the bottom of it. Might need a little bit more than that. Oh, yeah. but like I said, this is a enamel cast iron pot. Um, Just want to kind of get the bottom a good coating there. Hear that sizzle? Sizzle, sizzle. But take my spoon here. Hey, this is it. Trying to take the spoon. May have to actually go with my stock pot out. Let's get the big old boy in here. Get on in there. Get on in that pot. That's what you hear in the Cajun household all the time, you know. Get on in that pot. Got my stock pot there, so I'm going to take these pieces that are done browning and just throw them in there because that's what I like. We're going to have to cook in that piece. I don't think I'll have a quite big enough pot to do that. But yeah, there's a lot of meat here. Did not realize there was that much. I hope I bought enough stuff to make the sauce. The neutral's done. I was going to try to keep this all in the same pot and cook it all the same, but... Hot, hot, hot. One thing about cast iron, once you get it hot, it don't stop. So... I'm going to try to get a little bit of cook on these onions. Put a little bit of garlic in there. Get some of this garlic and onion going. So, that's the two 12 ounce cans of paste. So, we're going to leave that sauce there right now. Um, I'm going to just rinse a little bit out of each can. So like, I'm going to get a little bit of water just to get the last little bit out of that can. And the other two. May not have enough onion. You can add onion and garlic as you would see. I'm going to add a little bit that's not cooked down garlic on top of it. Because, oop. That's good enough. Because I really like garlic. Give it a stir. I'm going to leave it on a medium high heat. Pro tip, if you keep a can, you can throw your spoon in it. Does not get your countertop dirty. Or is this the lid for it? Ha ha! I do have a lid for it. I'm going to leave it on medium high, stirring occasionally until the neutral starts falling off the bone. Oh, one, one thing I did forget. 
which whenever you make spaghetti sauce from home, and if you ever read ingredients of said, said spaghetti sauce, everything always has sugar in it. And why, you may ask, why they have sugar in it? Well, the sugar actually cuts the acidity down, so you sprinkle just across the top. Might need more in this big old pot. I also forgot to add seasoning to this, which this is a big old pot. This is a, a, the Italian seasoning, which is uh, basil, thyme, rosemary, savory, and oregano, which probably just need to do that. Big old stir, and we're also gonna put some salt across the top for now. Should have done this before I stirred it. And once it actually starts getting cooked a little bit, and I feel comfortable that the nutra isn't completely raw in there, I am gonna come back. So I'm gonna leave it on little medium high heat. I'm gonna stir it occasionally. Put the lid on to keep that heat trapped in there. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. By hitting that subscribe button, you are entered into our giveaway at every 100 subscribers. And, uh, and we, our goal is 1,000 subscribers this year. When we hit the 1,000 mark, we will do a big giveaway. Uh, I'm not really sure what that might entail, but we will. Um, if you have any questions on what I'm doing, if you have your own recipe, Put them in the comments below. We'd love to try them. You can find recipes for Nutria on Nutria.com. And I'll put a link for all of that in my below. If you want to see us killing these Nutria, that'll also be in the links below. See, the, see it? Oh, it's starting to boil. Let's, let's put this on low fire. Stay tuned for more finished products. Pulling stuff out of the oven. I don't know. See where this goes. All right, so depending on the size of your spaghetti squash is how long you should probably cook it. Um, this wasn't in there for that long. It was actually like 45 minutes, but just take your fork and literally run it like that. And as you can see, as you can see, it actually starts to just flake off and it looks like spaghetti. Let's go chow down, see how well this tastes. I am super excited. As you can see, we have changed venues, but we're plating now. So get you some some of your noodles, spaghetti spots, whatever you use. You know, make a bed of it. As you can see, the meat actually is falling off the bone. And to get you some parmesan cheese for the top. Just kind of sprinkle it on top just like that. Alright, here goes nothing. Well, it doesn't taste like my grandma's, but it doesn't taste bad. Very <laughs> good to me. Definitely. I definitely think it is definitely better than rabbit. So, if you have Nutra in your state, we need to get rid of them. So, you might as well shoot them and eat them. That'll be about it. We're going to eat, and I don't think you want to watch that, but. Make sure you. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video.